A Greensboro family says their faith is keeping them going tonight after the murder of 20 year old Tyreek Wilson. WFM News 2's Giselle Thomas spoke to the victim's family who says he was loved by many. Tyreek Wilson's family say he was known as a musician and always gave to others. His mother says he was the second youngest of four sons. It's a hard thing to deal with. Losing your child is a very hard thing. I could tell all parents out here that you don't know how it feels until it happens to you. A triad mom believes her son's relationship with his girlfriend is what eventually led to his death. Some people say if I can't have you, then, I, you know, um, if I can't have you, nobody else will have you. That's what kind of person I would think she is, her mind, mentality. Greensboro police arrested 19 year old Persia Deborah Ann Scales. She's charged with the murder of Tyreek Wilson. She's accused of stabbing Wilson to death. Wilson's brother can't understand how this relationship came to this point. He really loved this girl. Like he deeply loved this girl, bro. It's like she was unappreciative. And that really made me mad inside. Like how the world will you do that to somebody that love you to death, bro? That, that's not no heart and no sympathy, bro. He told us he got a call the night his brother passed one that he will never forget. The girl literally called me on the phone. I see my brother laid there, you feel me? I see that image every day. I wake up seeing that, just that image in my face. Like, I, I can't, I can't even explain it. Bro. His brother says they were more than family. They were best friends. That's how close me and him was, man. Everywhere I was at, I'm telling you, I was right there beside him. Or if I was gone, he was right there, right beside me, because we cared about each other like that. And yeah, we loved all my brothers and family, but my mama knew that me and him was going to be the one that stick there by the side. Greensboro police say this is an active investigation, and they are still gathering information on what happened.